Okay, so I need to stock off my acetone bottle again. And I'm already bought this new can of acetone. But, um, these are very annoying because if you try to pour it, it just dribbles everywhere. So here's the idea that I came up with. Here's a bent glass tube at um, around 75 degrees. And you simply put it in your can. And then you get a syringe or a pipette or whatever that can pull negative pressure. And you simply put it on there, pull it very fast. And then um, the liquid will start to siphon out. Ta-da. Now, um, my glass tube doesn't reach in completely, but that's fine. Because, um, once it's around halfway full, you can just pour it without it dribbling everywhere. And, um, when you want to stop it from siphoning out, you can just tip the glass tube back, which, um, I will demonstrate when I fill this glass bottle full of acetone. Okay, so, um, to get, um, the acetone start, start to stop a little bit, some I have elevated, um, angled one side with, um, the cap of the bottle, and, um, you can see... It's about full now, almost completely full, and I'm, I'm overfilling it because I also have a smaller bottle I want to fill with it. And um, once you're done removing your acetone, you can simply just... And there, it stops. And you can just get your glass tube out. And simply cap the acetone bottle again. I mean, can, whatever. And there you go. That's how you can get solvents out of one of these stupid cans that dribble everywhere without dribbling everywhere.